This story is 100% true. Forgive me for sitting on the floor in this video. I was actually about to do my makeup and watch TV, but then this story came to my head. And when it came to my head, I was like, bitch, you better tell these people this story, girl. Tell these people this story, girl. About a year, year and six months, I was a full-time employee at IHOP. And I worked as a server on the weekends and a manager during the day. And when I would manage, I was the overnight manager. So I would work from 8 p.m. to six in the morning. This IHOP was just fucking ghetto. The night crew, something always happened. Like something always happened on this night crew, whether it was with the employees, with the customers, it was always something. It was just something. This particular night I had one cook, his name is Darius, and I had my server who came in the same time that I did, her name was Amanda. And I had another server, her name was Chantel, and she was coming in probably about 10, 11 o'clock. Amanda comes into the office, she's like, well, he wants to talk to you. And I'm like, okay, what's the problem, what happened? She goes, he's upset because I would not draw what his food would look like for him. I'm sorry. She said, I gave him our menu. I showed him that this is what it would look like. And he said, no, I asked you to draw it. Now, if you've ever been to IHOP, which I'm sure a lot of you have, every single food item that's on that menu has a picture next to it. She says, sir, I'm not gonna draw it for you. It's right here. Um, and that's when he goes, go get your manager. Now, hearing that, you already hear how foolish that that sounds. Now, something in my spirit, something in my heart just told me that this man is crazy. She goes, and beware, I think he's high off of something. Bruh, oh my goodness. So now I gotta come talk to you about some stupid shit and you high as hell. But I try to put on a fake smile, you know, like, ah, hi. And I should have known this motherfucker was crazy because he's sitting over there like, And I'm like, hi, sir, my name is Jade. I'm the manager here. You wanted to speak to me? I bullshit y'all not. He does this. Why are you sitting in front of me? Bitch, you called me to this table. I didn't ask to come over here. And my attitude completely changed. So I'm like, did you want to speak to the manager? He was like, are you the manager? even though I just said my name is Jade and I'm the manager. I'm like, yes, I am the manager. Now he goes on this tangent, y'all, like a real life tangent. Now his volume starts raising and I'm like, sir, 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 I understand your frustration, but you do have to keep your volume at a minimum because we do have other people here and I wanna resolve your issue, but you can't be screaming in here. And he goes, I say what the f I wanna say. Ah, uh, I think the fuck not. Like, who these people really be thinking that they are, bitch? No, motherfucker, you're not. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do, but you're not gonna do it on this private property. You not, and you damn sure ain't gonna do it on my shit. So once he starts going on this tyrant, and I told him to calm down, and then he want to tell me he can say what the fuck he want to say. I told him, well, sir, we have the right to refuse service, so now I'm gonna be asking you to leave. He takes his stuff, he gets up, and he walks out the door. Now that's where you would think shit was over, right? I get my phone, I text my boyfriend at the time, and I'm like, you will not believe what just happened. This man crazy. You will not believe what just happened with this crazy ass man. I'm calling my boss and he's not answering the phone. And Amanda comes to the office. She like, Jade, this man is screaming. I'm not helping him. I am not gonna help him. He's screaming. He's calling me all out of my name. I'm like, what man? She's like, the dude, he's screaming, saying he's gonna call a lawyer and all of this stuff. This man, high out of his mind, is sitting at the table screaming, I'm on the phone with my lawyer. I'm on the phone with my lawyer. I'm on the phone with my lawyer. <laughs> screaming like, okay, shit, call him in. Now mind y'all, there are other people in there. It's not just us. This man is literally screaming. Like he's screaming at Amanda like she is a grown ass man and like she just done this man's life up or something. And Darius can hear him screaming, so he comes in and Darius was just trying to get the man to calm down, like, hey bro, step outside, let's just calm down and everything like that. And the guy goes with Darius. It's already evident this man isn't going to leave because when he went outside with Darius, he left his stuff on the table. So I gave Darius a heads up like, hey, I'm finna call dispatch. When I call him, go to the kitchen or go in the office. Because at this point, you're being a disturbance to my other customers. He stormed back in and he goes off like lost his head off 
Now, this man is like, anger is pointed directly towards Amanda. I'm the one who told him to leave. I'm the one who told him we wasn't gonna serve him. I'm the one who told him that he needed to get off the premises. I'm the one who called dispatch. And his anger is just directed towards Amanda. So Chantel just comes in. She don't really know what's happening. She just sees a crazy ass man yelling. And she's like, sir, I need you to calm down. I was like, Chantel, I've already asked him to leave. He doesn't want to leave. I got the police on the phone. She's like, my manager told you to leave. You need to go. He said, what are you going to do, bitch? I'll knock your head off. And she said, mother do it. Now him and Chantel, they like this. Like, they face to face. And I automatically step in. Because in my head, I'm like, he finna put his hands on Chantel. Even though he being erratic as hell, I'm like trying to spare him a little bit. I'm like, sir, the police are on their way. You know, like, I don't know if you really want to be here for this because the police are on their way. So, you know, what you want to do? They this close and my ass steps in between them. He back up a little bit, right? We're going to say this is his hands and this is me. He said, what you finna do? And y'all, I lost it. I genuinely lost it. Like, my mind snapped. Nigga, you put your hands on me. Once he did it, he realized what he did, and he goes, I'm just asking, what are you finna do? And Darius, like, grabs me, like, no, nope, nope, get out the store, get out the store. And this batch is like, what's happening? What happened? What happened? I was like, this nigga put his hands on me, bitch, what you mean? What happened? This nigga put his hands on me. Forgive me for the change of lights during this video. It's getting dark, so that's why I was kind of getting dark over here. I just turned the light on, so it kind of got pretty yellow. I hope this isn't like too bad or too distracting. So, anywho. Y'all, I forgot where I was. I forgot who I was talking to. I forgot what I was doing. I forgot all of that because you're not gonna put your hands on me. I don't give a in what way, shape, or form. You don't put your hands on me. You don't touch me. You do not put your hands on nobody unless you wanna get touched back. And this nigga needed to get touched back. She's like, did the police pull up? They just dispatched at the police are there. I'm like, the police just pulled up. As soon as the police pulled up, this motherfucker wanna walk outside. My boyfriend calls the job phone and he's like, Where's Jade? And I'm guessing Amanda told him what happened because he texts me, he's like, I'm on my way. The moment I feel Darius arms go like this, bitch, I take the off. And I'm like, bitch, you got me up. You wanna put your hands on me? That's why your bitch ass is running. And I was like coming after him as a police officer, like, ma'am, 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 I need you to calm down. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna calm down. Cause when I was calm, this motherfucker wanted to put his hands on me. The other officer just like put him in handcuffs automatically. He's like, I didn't touch this bitch. I didn't touch this bitch. I didn't touch this bitch. At this point, I don't care that the police are there. Bitch, I'm trying to fight because you got me up. At this time, I'm telling the officer, sir, I don't care about all of that. I don't give a if you arrest me. I don't give a if I go to jail tonight. I don't care. This nigga put his hands on me and that shit is not going to go okay. I need to put my hands on him back. They're like, ma'am, ma'am, he's being detained. The officer's trying to calm me down. As soon as I have my ex pulls up and I'm talking about like, he just, ah! he like pulls up. Don't even park the car. Just parked in the middle of the street. Gets out and he was like, you put your hands on my wife? You put your hands on my wife? Honestly, deep in my heart, I'm like, we can really jump this nigga together. But we got two police officers here. Another cop car is like in the middle about to pull up to get statements. So they were actually really cool cops. Like, you know, they were like, you know, we understand he was in this situation. You know, you're a woman, you're a young woman at that. This is a grown man. And that man was grown, y'all. Like he was a grown ass man. And the guy starts laughing. Like, <laughs> and the officer is like, nope, you're going to jail. You're high of a controlled substance. You're going to jail. So he's like, well, do you want to press charges? I'm like, absolutely. Hell yeah. I'm pressing every charge I can. My 100%. Yep. My ex is like hype. He's like upset. He's talking to the officer like, I'm sorry, but I can't calm down. Like he put his hands on my wife. And the officer is talking to him with the utmost respect. I understand your frustration. I understand your anger, but you know, we got everything controlled. Really just trying to calm my ex down. Like he's just really trying to calm him down. He's like, ma'am, if you wouldn't mind, can you please go inside? We'll take all y'all statements and everything like that. We're like, all right, cool. On the, we're in the inside and they're still in the parking lot. And then this man like get aggressive towards the cops. Like, they're like, do you have anything on you? Do you have anything on you? He's like, you can't go through my pants. You can't go through my pants. Y'all, this man had literally drugs on him, paraphernalia on him. The officer is like, yeah, he's on a controlled substance and that's why he's acting like this. Like, well, duh, 
So I can look at him and see he wanna control stuff. So look at this nigga eyes, they crazy. Now mind y'all, during this whole story, none of these customers did a damn thing. We even had one customer who was a man and he was a big ass man too. He just sat there and didn't do nothing. Like, had he physically punched me or anything like that, like y'all would have held my own and everything. But it's the fact that you're a man and you see this young woman being sized up by another grown man and you don't do nothing. And you bigger than both of us. You bigger than me and you bigger than this man. And you sat there and you didn't do anything. You should be ashamed of yourself. If this video ever crosses you, sir, I want you to be ashamed of yourself. I need to go pop my lashes on. Actually, do me a favor. In the comments, comment what would you do if you were in my situation or if you were a customer there at the store. Because I'm actually very curious to know what other people's reactions would have been. I really tried to just stay calm during that situation until this nigga got bold and was like, you know, because bitch, no.